Uh, yeah, so should we just jump into it? Talk about orbits, why <laughs> the force of gravity is important for orbits and how without it, we wouldn't really have much of a solar system and much of a galaxy and all of the other things. Yeah, let's talk about that. And on top of it, I think by the end of the night, we can uh, somewhat debunk um, the flat earth theory. We'll have that somewhat debunked by the end of the night. <laughs> However, um, you know, that, that's if satellites are real, but we also know that that's a conspiracy theory from NASA. So there's no such thing as uh, satellites up there. So Jaden, let's start <laughs> off with a thought experiment. To understand orbits, okay. okay? This is something that Sir Isaac gotcha. Newton talked about, all right? So I'm going to draw okay. a, a circle here, okay? I'm going to draw this, okay? This is a mountain, okay? And then on top of this... Okay, mountain, that's a very tall mountain for that. Okay, we'll, we'll draw it smaller, okay? Sheesh. <laughs> oh, no, I, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Okay, and let's say there's a cannon on top of this. I, I know this is not the scale, okay? Why don't we use, like, Superman so we're not super cliche? <laughs> you can have Superman and I'll have my cannon. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> from there, we um, can go ahead and... Jaden, what happens if we shoot a cannonball... Or we just drop a cannonball right here. What do we know about gravity? What will happen if we just drop it from the top of that mountain? Uh, it will just fall straight down to the earth, assuming there's no other forces acting on it. Okay. So now what happens, Jaden, though, if I shoot a cannonball and it now um, it's got a velocity going this way? Okay, uh, well, we know that the force of gravity will still act on it, and if it has a velocity going that way, so that tangential velocity, we know that we have a projectile motion now, and it will fall, boom. Okay. And so, like you said, the force of gravity, right? So the force of gravity is from the radius or the center, right? It's like the center from um, the Earth or whatever mass we're talking about. And it is always going to be pulling directly in. So if we were to take this point here, the force of gravity would be taking this cannonball and pulling it in right there, right, towards the center. And so, but at the same time, like you said, this cannonball is moving, right, in a direction. Right. Um, and so it's getting pulled in, but it's also moving. And so it's falling, and like you've drawn, it will eventually hit the earth, right? Because it's falling, falling, right. but it's falling kind of close to the same as the curvature of the earth, right? Right. So then from there, Jaden, what happens if we shoot this cannonball fast enough so that it's falling? And then it just... Okay, so if we have a, a great enough tangential velocity, it will just continue following... Falling... I'll, I'll just continue from this circle. It will continue falling, 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 and it will come back and hit the cannon in the backside. All right, and that's assuming we have a strong enough tangential velocity. Right. So what we just described essentially is what an orbit is, right? If something's falling fast, or if it has a large enough tangential velocity, it will continue to fall, right? And it will yeah. fall at the same speed, essentially, as it's getting pulled into the Earth, 
and so it is constantly changing its velocity, changing its direction of its velocity, so that it keeps curving. Yep. Now, Jaden, what if we, what would happen if we shot this cannonball super duper fast? Okay, so it would still be affected by gravity, but this time I'll draw a new one. It will go around and then it will shoot off. Like so. Uh, this might not be the exact shape. It will look more like a parabola type shape or even like a hyperbole type shape. Hyperbola, sorry. Uh, and that is kind of the idea behind it. It's like a, a big slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's like if you were to have um, you know, a string, a ball on a string, right? And you whip it around, woo! Then all of a sudden, that woo! string, the string kind of snapped, right? And so that's, and then yeah. you know that it would go flying off. And that's that's the same thing. You can think of the force of gravity as that string holding a ball um, towards the center of the earth, right? Yeah.